Okay, uh, so we are going to work on Excel project number one. Um, so recall from the previous video on how to access Excel. Uh, you should be able to go to your Outlook, um, sign in, then from there click on Excel and we start a new blank worksheet. Okay, so we are looking at Excel project one. Um, so what you're going to see is that I will give you um, some data values. Um, these data values you will list in your first column. So um, I would just practice this example. Um, and then you're going to do your own assignment with your different data values the same kind of way. Okay, so I have 7, 1, 2, 2, 3. I also have 5. One, two, six, seven, and then I have seven, one, four, two, one, and I have seven, five, five, one, four. Uh, so these are my data values. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to arrange these data values from smallest to largest. So I click on this cell A, after that I go all the way to the right side um, and then you should see this button that says sort and filter. I click on that and then I sort ascending from the smallest number first to the biggest number and as you can see it arranged uh, my uh, numbers there, right? Um, you could also see it move move data and Excel project number one, uh, but that's okay. Okay, um, so from here what we're going to do is uh, the first thing that I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to uh, construct a frequency distribution table. And if you recall, a frequency distribution table started out with your data values. Um, and then after that, uh, the next heading of the column was frequency. Um, between this D and E, um, you should see that you get this little line with arrows on the right hand side. I'm just going to click it, um, uh, double click it, and then you should see that it separates them nicely. Okay, so you should see the data values that I have is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way to 7. So you just enter them one time, smallest number first, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Also, I've been hitting enter to go to the next line. The frequency, how many times do we see one? Well, I see it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So I put 5 there. How many times do I see 2? 1, 2, 3, 4 times. How many times do I see three? I only see it once. How many times is four on that table? Twice. How many times do we see five? One, two, three. We see five, three times. And six is only once. And seven, we see it one, two, three, four times. Okay, uh, now from there, um, we want to Find the total number of data values, right? So here we're going to type in total, and here we need to add all of these numbers up. Now we're not going to add them up on our own. We are going to use a formula, and we type in the word equals. You type in S-U-M, and you see all these formulas. You double-click on the first one that says sum. Double-click it quickly. And then from there, it should look like this. From there, you highlight all of these numbers. You hit a close, per, uh, close parentheses, and then you hit Enter. When I receive this assignment from you, I am going to look at this 20, and I want to make sure I see a formula. If I do not see a formula, you will not get any points for this part. Formulas will be worth a lot of points, so make sure that you use the formula. Okay, now from there, all we have to do is make this look like a table. So we highlight what we want to look like a table. 
uh, you should see this little table button there with this down arrow. You hit the down arrow and then you hit this button here that says all borders. And now what that did was that made your data look like a table. Uh, you can see that there's not a line out here. Um, so once again, just like before, this time on E to F, once you see that solid line with arrows on the left and right, double click, uh, double click it, and now it should extend it for you. So this is the first thing you'll be doing is you'll be constructing a frequency distribution table. The next thing that I will ask you to do here is I will ask you to explain what the last number on the frequency column means. Um, and I'm not going to answer that part. Um, you should know what that answer is already, but that will be part B. So what does this number 20, what does that mean? Okay, um, so that's something that you'll be doing the next. Okay. Next thing that you're going to do is from there, I want you to construct a frequency polygon. And I'm going to ask you to construct a frequency polygon. So that's what we're going to do next here. In order to construct a frequency polygon, what you'll do is you'll highlight only the numbers on your table. Right, as you can see, I did not highlight data values or frequency. I did not highlight total and 20. So just the data values and the frequency. And in order to highlight, I click on the very end. It's important that you do it this way. You start from the top left, so you click on one. Do not let go. Bring it down to seven. Go to the right. I have not let go yet. And then once I get to that four, I unclick. That highlights all that data values and the frequency okay from there I hit insert it's right next to the home button on the very top all right I hit insert and then after I hit insert what I want to do is insert a chart so I'm going to click recommended charts which is in the top middle there and what you see is that you should see something on the right hand side opened up with a couple of different charts what we want is something to look like a line graph because that's what our frequency polygons are. Um, so we click on uh, that one that we want inserted. I um, mean, you should see it's down here. Uh, we're going to move that up a little. We can also close this out. So that way we see it a little bit better. In order to move, all you do is click in there and then you can drag it around. Okay. Uh, this is missing some points. We need to make sure we add our points in there. So in order to do that, um, we are going to uh, click one of these that has these lines with markers. So we click on that and now you see it gives us points there. Okay, um, so what we wanna do is we wanna edit this a little bit, um, right? Our X axis should always refer to our data values. So we should be able to uh, click on where it says field one or Yeah, where it says, it's not good. oh, here it is, uh, where it says access titles, right? Um, we want to edit, edit the horizontal. So instead of saying field one, let's have it say our data values and we hit OK. So now we can see that that changed. Our Y axis should read frequency. So once again, access, right? Because X axis, Y axis, axis titles. Now we're going to change the vertical one. Um, you go down to where it says edit, and now we want it to say free 
when C, we hit OK. Uh, and we don't need it to have a title, right? This is our chart. So on chart title, we just click none to remove it. We do want to add a little bit more to this table um, so it looks a little nicer. So when it comes to our grid lines, you can see grid lines over here. On the right, I click on grid lines. And what I want to do is we already got the horizontal. Horizontal goes from left to right. We just want to add some vertical ones, right? Major grid line vertical. So now we see this um, frequency polygon looks a lot nicer. Um, so this is really all we are doing um, on Excel project number one. On Excel project number one, um, I want you to be able to, uh, number one, enter your data, right? And then arrange it from smallest to largest. Uh, then I want you to be able to construct a frequency distribution table. Um, explain to me what that number 20 means, right? So you should be able to type uh, in here uh, what it means, right? And then the last thing that I want you to do is I want you to construct a frequency polygon, uh, which is this nice little graph chart that we made. Um, after that, what you want to do last is just make sure you um, type your name. Um, and then from there, you can go ahead and send it to me. And I will make a separate video on how you can send that to me. Uh, if you have any questions, you can just email me um, or set up a meeting with me. Thank you.